हेलो एंड वेलकम यू आर वॉचिंग म्यूजिंग विद सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर ऑल स्पोर्ट्स अपडेट सर आई मीन हाउ टू स्विच फ्रॉम सपोर्ट टू डेवलपमेंट साइड सी टू स्विच फ्रॉम सपोर्ट टू डेवलपमेंट यू वॉट वट यू विल है यू हैव टू लर्न एटलीस्ट वन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज ओके यू टेक एनी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इफ यू हैव फ्रेंड्स इन सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट सी विच प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इंटरेस्ट यू or if you are working in a certain company where you are providing support pick the programming language that your company is expert in so that if you want to move from support to programming you can do it within your company and then invest your time in learning this programming language really well i'm not talking about basics i am talking about really advanced to the level that if your company decides to put you in software development then you can show them what you can do in software development is much better than what you can do in support okay also when you become a programmer you have to convince your company that because you come from the support field you are much you know exactly what are the problems that customer faces and because of that you are going to be a better programmer than person who's just done software engineering okay this is all communication this is all changing the perception of your interviewer to say oh yeah, yeah maybe because he is in support he can do better programming you know that that's the kind of thing you have to do is it okay so to go from support to development start learning programming to learn a good programming language it can take somewhere between 3 months to 6 months to learn to an extent that you can build an end to end application okay so that is the kind of programming you need to learn every day give 1 hour or 2 hours to this activity and in 6 months you will be as good as any other software engineer and then talk to your boss if you do it via certification you know i have shared a lot of on my videos uh, certification from coursera or edx or such platforms you get a really valuable certification even using that certification you can switch but don't expect that just because you have a certificate in hand you will get a job no okay you will have to convince the interviewer that you are really as good as a programmer and you can do whatever is required at the job and to give you a chance and people will give you a chance okay see people like uh, everybody likes people who are learning to do something more who have a vision okay so this is your vision your vision is i want to become a software developer okay this is your vision and then you put your vision into action you start learning programming you start uh, getting an understanding of software development you learn a programming language really well so you are you are having a vision and then you are executing on your plan so you have a vision then your plan is your mission so you decide every day i'm going to learn 2 hours this xyz programming language and so that is your plan that is your mission and you you complete your mission so when you complete your mission now you have you have the knowledge of one programming language okay you have the knowledge of one programming language based on the vision you had so people like such people who have a vision and who have a mission and who execute on a plan okay the people will hire you as a programmer okay and all of you who are here do spread this video like this video before you go subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon because when you press the bell icon you will get a notification when i come live i am coming live on the same time thursday 9 5 pm we will see see you in the next live uh, thank you very much